dear students you are going to have your online lecture for introduction to linguistics i am your instructor umaira khurshid students today we are going to talk about the proper language or qualities of human language we can start a lecture with the assumption that human language is a unique phenomenon this quality is not shared by other beings what are the unique feature that make human language different to the other beings language are going to be discussed by us today first we can say that the essential use of language is communication communication is the transference of ideas feelings emotions or states of minds to other human beings while communicating with the other beings we can have communicative signals or we can use communicative signals what are communicative signals communicative signals are the intentional use of language we plan and use language for example i write an application to the principal of the college for some important task that is the communicative signal on my part and most of the times human being send communicative signals to others the second domain is the informative signals informative signals are those types of communication that are done unintentionally for example when we have cold we start to rub our hands when we have sore throat our voice would not be clear that is that is called the informative signal unintentional use of communicative signals is called informative signals human beings perform both type of communication first communicative signals and second is informative signals while we can distinguish that most of the times we are using communicative signals and our use of informative signals is few and far on the other hand animals excessively use informative signals and they don't occupy the intentional capability of communication do they perform it rarely the third domain we were we can see communication and that is the unique human feature is reflexive reflexivity this feature stands for human ability to talk about our own language talk about the others use of language think about our own language think about others use of language and think and discuss and ponder upon what others have said or done or what we have said or done or what we are going to say or do this phenomenon is not adhered by other beings or animals so this reflex reflexivity is the unique phenomenon that is associated only with human communication while other animals don't have it and even if they have it they have it at a very fixed or lower level while we tend to think of communication as the primary function of human language it is not a distinguishing feature all creatures communicate in some way however we suspect that other creatures are not reflecting on the way they create their communicative messages or reviewing how they work or not it is the unique human capability students the next feature of language that we are going to talk about is the displacement displacement is the quality or the feature of language that capable make us capable to think to talk or to discuss the things that are not in our immediate experience or environment for example now sitting at home we can talk about college 
we can talk about the classroom environment we can talk about the language lab even if we are no more there this quality of language is called displacement displacement makes us capable to talk about things and places we have not even experienced in our own life or observed in our own life for example angels fairies santa claus superman heaven hell none of these has been personally experienced by us still we use the terms in language for these ideas and we have clear perceptions when these terms are being used even the imaginative thinking can be considered the displaced use of language if we compare this unique capability with the animal language we can say that animals don't have the capability to displace or to refer displaced ideas or objects anyhow i would like to mention an interesting study that was conducted on honey bees and the researchers found that even honey bees have displacement in their communication if some honey bee finds a place where there is an immensity of flowers it would have specific dance movement to communicate that ideas that dance movement are associated just with the idea of abundance of flowers and the other honey bees who are in their hive when see those dance movement can think or perceive the abundance of flowers so we can say here at a limited level the honey bees can dis- can use the feature of displacement in their communication but it is just a limited expression of displacement and the he- level at which human being can utilize or can exploit this displacement the displacement feature of language is far more higher or far more complicated or far more creative as compared to the animals there are some words in human language which which sounds that seem to echo the sound of the object or the activities and hence seem to have a less arbitrary connection for example cuckoo crash slurp squelch or whirr all of these are representing the sounds here we can say that no arbitrary model is being followed since the sounds of the objects are resembling to the concepts conceptions associated with the objects or the sounds of the objects anyhow broadly speaking we can say that such words are rarely used by human beings and most of the time the association of any term with the object or the association of any term with the idea is based on an arbitrary decision anyhow if we look at the language of the animals it has more resemblance to the fixity they produce the similar sound for all the perceptions for all the associations a cat when sees a mouse produces the same sound and when it's having some other emotion it produces the same sound so the the expression is fixed on the other hand human use an arbitrary association with the words and terms the next quality that human language has is its productivity we can also use the term creativity or open endedness for this phenomenon human beings are capable capable of creating new words new expressions and even the words that nobody has heard in the past think for a moment did you hear the term covid in the last 10 years 
no it is present since the last one year what has enabled us to produce this term it is the creative use of language that can represent any social reality this creativity or production of language can be viewed in from another angle human being can arrange multiple sentences highly creatively in order to communicate the same idea for example you are now in your homes you can express the same state in different ways for example we are having holidays you can say the college is closed due to covid you can say we are no more going to college you can say it's off day you can say we need not to go college we are having lectures online almost all the references described above are communicating the same idea but different individuals can use language creatively to indicate the same idea in different ways it is the open ended use of the language we can combine different words in different multiple ways in order to communicate the similar ideas another creativity of language can be observed in the domain of literature that is the highly associative use or imaginative use of ideas not unheard or not perceived by others even the writers writers have potential enough to persuade the readers on their own line of thought just by the use of language on the other hand if we observe the animal communication they just have fixed reference they can't use language creatively they can come they are unable to combine their utterances to form new expressions they are not able to combine new ideas to form new utterances they can't use language creatively in order to communicate their own state of minds in different positions so they have just fixed references and the even if they can use language by employing their intentional use they just can use it in a limited way and this here in this domain again we can differentiate the unique possession of human beings in the form of language thanks dear students it's over from my side for today heard you have to perform the task or the activity you have to find five example or five different sentences or utterances for the each quality of language and write down them in your notebooks i am again telling you you have to find five examples of each quality of language and write down those sentences or utterances of example that you have found in your notebook or tomorrow's activity would be of the higher level and if you have planned those utterances then you would be able to do that work okay thanks